Hi guys, this is Advanced Filters Video 2. Um, in the first video, we introduced the concept of advanced filters and showed some really basic examples of, uh, of how to use the advanced filters functionality in Excel. Here I'm just going to briefly show more uh, complex filtering uh, possibilities with advanced filter and why it's actually called advanced filter because uh, some of the stuff we did in the last video could actually be, have been done with the regular uh, filter functionality okay so if you followed from the last video and if you haven't make sure you go to my channel uh, my YouTube channel and check out that video it's called the advanced filters part one okay under the Excel's playlist and also check out other videos while you're there but then come back to this one and you'll see that for an advanced filter where this is our data set first we need the column headings and let's just jump right into it we don't care for any of the criteria what the flight number is so we always will leave this column blank okay total seats we might be interested in flights that are a certain size uh, plain, uh, uh, yeah they have the total number of seats that are greater than let's say a certain number or equal to a certain number and likewise for seats sold for status there's three status to choose from here okay so we'll have a we'll have some choice here and for type we either have international or domestic so first things first let's say I want to see flights that have greater than 200 seats and we don't care how many seats were sold with a status of space available and a type of international okay so if I ran this filter right now I could even do this with the regular filter option I would get all the flights here that have greater than 200 seats total seats and are have space available and are of type international and that would be a very simple thing which we kinda did in the first video okay now to add a, a layer of complexity to this filter and really make get the full usage out of advanced filters in the next line we can define a whole new independent set of criteria that will be applied to the same data set and will be com uh, appended to the same results that we get from the first uh, uh, advanced filter okay so let's call this the second filter but it will be simultaneously filtering okay this is something you cannot do with regular filters okay so as a second criteria let's say we want flights that are less than 150 seats that have an overbooked status and we don't care whether it's international or domestic okay now I you get the point here you could do many of these filters and you obviously will have reasons for doing these here I'm just thinking up of some useful uh, examples to illustrate this concept without getting too complicated or too confounded with the actual uh, example at hand okay so we could leave it at two or we can take it um, further but further will will lengthen this video beyond necessity and um, won't really add too much okay so let's just keep it here okay so now we got our criteria we can go to data ta uh, ribbon go to the advanced filter get the dialog box here you see or Excel already suggests that this is our data this is our list range includes the headers we're gonna copy to another location that location will be we'll choose cell I6 over here just to keep this uh, tightly packed so we could see it all on one screen and the criteria range for us will be these guys right here okay we're going to make sure to get the headers in because that's how Excel matches up this criteria with this column over here okay now let's hit OK and see what we get okay let's evaluate the results and see that they actually satisfy these criteria okay so the first result has total of greater than 210 seats and it is space available status and international flight so it satisfied 
this criteria. Okay, so there was one flight in this data set that satisfied criteria uh, row one. Now criteria row two was satisfied by this flight, 717. Had less than 150 seats and was overbooked and we didn't care what the type of flight was. So it just happened to be domestic. Okay, so I hope this illustrates to you what the advanced filter can, uh, the flexibility that it gives you in getting exactly what you want in one uh, list instead of having to do multiple uh, filters, regular filters, and copy and paste. Okay, so let me know if you want me to do a more complicated example of this with perhaps more criteria, um, or if this was sufficient, let me know. Uh, also, check out my other videos on my channel, subscribe to my channel, comment, let me know what you think of everything, and uh, till next time, have a great day.